Now that is a beautiful sight. I am so excited about this project. It has had several surprises and all of them have been good surprises. This project has become easier than I had ever anticipated. I'm going to show you step by step how I covered this tote and give you some ideas of why I did it the way that I did. Uh, I'm not going to go over the center blocks down here. What I did is I decided I wanted to make sure that we've got plenty of support. So I've got uh, six center blocks around this tote. Uh, I figure we're going to have a couple tons of weight so I want to distribute the weight. I've got this up pretty close to the house uh, for some maybe additional uh, support but uh, not bearing on the house. There's space between the, the tote and the house. But I did take my level and uh, did a little digging to make sure that I had my cinder blocks uh, so it was level all the way around and I've got good support on all all six uh, supports. So uh, I'm excited. This is looking great. Um, I, I'll, I'll show you on this one that this is ready to go and there's no hole here. And um, I learned from the first one I did that it's best not to cut a hole and put the lid on because it stretches the plastic and then it doesn't lay down as flat. Now the tote that I have over here is the first one I did. There's uh, Bigfoot again. And uh, this one, what I did is I cut a hole in the top, making because I wanted it centered, and then I put the lid on, and uh, that held everything together. But as you can see, it, it kind of twisted the plastic, and so it didn't lay down as flat. It worked great, but uh, the other way worked greater. So uh, hold tight, and we'll be showing you the, the steps, uh, kind of uh, from start to finish. Here you've seen the finish, now you'll see the start. Now, uh, one thing I forget to mention is that this tote will go on top of this tote, and of course I'll cut this out and we'll put the top on, and we're gonna connect the, the tote up here to the tote down here with tubing. It'll go in here, the rainwater will go in the one on top. It'll fill this one first. When this one fills, it'll fill the, fill the second one and then we'll have the pressure of, uh, well actually it's two tons of pressure uh, coming out of that spigot there. So we should have really good uh, water pressure. Plus I'm gonna show you a little secret that I, that I learned on the internet, uh, on YouTube, how to even get more pressure coming out of the hose. I wanted to mention that um, when we take these out, and I showed you that earlier in removing these, that there is a, a little, uh, section in here that this actually slides through. There's a hole and that kind of holds the tote there. Well you're not going to be able to use that when this goes back on. So um, what I just did, this is this is just on top of that and it works fine. This is uh, actually sitting sideways. I don't know if you can really see that in this but uh, it was flipped so this this part was on the, down now it's facing on, on the side. So anyway uh, when you put it back together just uh, go go on top. I wouldn't worry about cutting them. Just you know, just go on top, and it'll it'll uh, hold the help hold the sides together, and you should be good. Okay, what I have here is the uh, six mil, ten foot wide by hundred feet, a uh, black plastic. I picked up at Home Depot. Make sure it says black uh, because they get them mixed up, and uh, you. We grabbed two clears to begin with. I've got it up on a couple center blocks with a, a handle stuck through the, t the center of the roll. And I've just got this so it lays out 14 feet long here in my garage. And so what I do is uh, I just lay this out 14 feet long, which is how long I want to cut it. Come out here and I get some cardboard put underneath the plastic and I'm going to cut it. Then I'm going to lay it out and I'm going to lay the uh, tote on top of it. Okay, I've got my uh, tote here laid out on the plastic. It's uh, 14 feet from the front to the back and uh, 10 feet wide, which is just how wide it comes. So I uh, got my tote, tote, it's upside down. I measured fr uh, from 7 feet to the center. So I know the tote is right in the middle of this uh, 
piece of uh, plastic. And then what's really important to make this easy, and this is one of the things I discovered, was you take this center seam and you line it up with the center seam here and uh, make sure everything's square and then when you go to put it together it comes together really easy. It's very important, and I'm just using a black uh, tape, uh, duct tape, um, but uh, it's, it's important to start with the back. Do not start with the front because this is in the way and it doesn't lay down flat and it won't lay down square. So lay, it, lay the tote down on the, on the plastic, tape the back, make sure everything's square, lined up, and then we're going to tape the front just like we taped the back. Uh, okay, so I've got the front here. And there's an overlap, and I'm just going to pull it up there. And you can see that this seam right here lines up with that seam. That's what's important. Now, before I tape that, well, I can actually just put a piece of tape to, to hold it if I wanted to, but I have to cut a slit here because uh, this isn't laying down flat. You can see there's a problem here, and it's because of the, the spigot. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut a slit here so I can fit the, sli the spigot and the handle through. Okay, so I've made my slit just big enough for everything to fit in through nice and snugly. Uh, that way it's going to minimize how much light gets in, in there. And so when I tighten the, this up, it'll, it'll lay down flat. Next thing what you want to do is come over and work on the sides, uh, starting from the back first. And I'll uh, basically, this is the fun part. Now, if, if you guys like Christmas, you're going to love this project because what it is, is basically wrapping a great big Christmas present. And so, I don't, you know, there's different ways to wrap Christmas presents. I'm, I'm going to show you how I've done it. But uh, that's one of the, the surprising things I learned was how easy it is. And I'll go through step-by-step uh, on step how I do this. Uh, so hopefully it's uh, uh, easy for you too. By the way, uh, the only cut you'll need to make is this cut right here and cutting the, the plastic off the roll. You don't need to cut anything else. Everything else fits right inside of the uh, cage easily if, you, if uh, you tuck it down nice and neat. Okay, because everything is square and centered, uh, I'm just, I pulled this down nice and snug and put a piece of duct tape here just to hold it. And then I'm finding the corner up here and then making a ridge coming down, again, keeping this nice and flat so it's uh, get a nice crisp fold in there. Just like uh, uh, making a, uh, a wrapping Christmas package. And then I'm going to fold this over in here and uh, tape that down. Okay, you can see everything is nice and taut, laying down flat. I've got a piece of tape down here holding that. And so I've got the whole back half folded. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the exact same thing with the front half. I'm going to fold this down and then fold from the front. And I'll end up with a little triangle, triangle down here, which is how my Christmas present wrapping looks like when I'm done. Okay, you know that uh, you've done everything right, uh, if there's a right or wrong way, but if you've done everything the way I'm doing it, if uh, you get a nice uh, crease here, nice crease here, and this lays pretty much right on top of the one below it. Um, so this is how I wrap my Christmas presents. And then the last part I do for my Christmas present is I just bring this up and I put tape on there. I want to add a bow to this one, but sometimes I add a bow if it's a sticky bow. I don't tie bows. But anyway, so uh, let's finish this up. Okay, so you've got half the, the Christmas package wrapped. Now uh, we're just going to do the same thing on the other side. Everything should uh, come out just like this. This is, I love it. It's beautiful. Uh, and it's, it's beautiful because it's so easy and it works. Uh, not a lot of cutting. Just uh, cut it off the roll, cut the slit for the front, everything folds up perfectly, and uh, it's awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the other side and then uh, tape it up. Okay, now I'm done with the second side. And it is time to tape every uh, seam and I'm going to start uh, just because this is the kind of the way I think I start with all the seams uh, that are closest to the plastic and then I will do the seams that are the furthest away from the plastic just because my thinking is it helps with um, 
in case it rains and water might get underneath. You know, does it make any difference water gets underneath? No, but uh, that's just how I always think, you know, overlapping. So uh, this is on top of, of, of this and that's on top of that. So water doesn't get inside. So let me tape it up and uh, show you how it looks. Oh, one thing I want to mention first is that uh, I take my gloves here and I just uh, wipe off the seams because as you can see, I, I've, even though I swept my garage floor, it's still dirty in here. And I just want to get a good, a good uh, seal on the tape. So I just wipe it off real quick. I think it makes a difference. Okay, you are looking at a completed tote. It's completely covered. Uh, I put, pla uh, I put the tape on every seam. And then what I do is I put my glove on just because it's easier. And I go afterwards and I try to, you know, make sure that everywhere is, uh, there's, you know, it's, it's down tight. Why? Because once I put it in the cage, I'm really not going to have access to it. Do I need, really need to do this? No, probably not. Um, is it a piano? No, it's not a piano. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But uh, that's just how I am. So there we have it. There's a, a completed upside down tote ready to be used. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the cage and I get on to tote number four. Now if you get a 330 gallon tote, it may be different. Uh, the reason why we did not go with a 330 gallon, gallon tote is because it's 40 inches across from here to here. It's 41 inches across from the gate to my backyard. The uh, 30, 333 gallon totes are 48 inches from here to here. So uh, it didn't work. So um, just something to, to know, measure your, your opening before you uh, decide which tote you're going to get. Well, I'm ready to start on my next tote, and I thought I'd answer the question that everybody is wondering. Could you have painted the totes black or blue or some other color instead of putting uh, black plastic on it? And the answer is yes. I thought about that, and then I thought, how much of a mess that would be. And I used to you know, be a, in construction and I've done a lot of painting and I thought you know what's going to end up being even more expensive than the plastic too because you have to get special paint that covers plastic and then you've got to make sure that it uh, stays covered and I was concerned when we slid it into the cage that it would scratch and then I'd have to paint it again once it was in the cage and so you know, I just want to go to the fastest, easiest, cheapest, most effective route, and I went with the, the uh, black plastic. I am very pleased that I did. Uh, one roll of black plastic looks like it'll do seven totes, and it looks like I'm going to be able to. I, I mean, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need two rolls of maybe two rolls of duct tape, maybe, but uh, maybe I'll get one done with just this, this one. Probably with this one because yeah, I'll get with uh, one roll here because I'm almost already done. This is this is uh, my uh, second to last one. So uh, you can paint it absolutely if you do. Please uh, make a video of it and let us see it. Love to see your results. But uh, I went with this way and I'm really happy with it. I uh, hope this helps you guys out. The next uh, segment in this water storage series is connecting the uh, totes on top of each other and uh, getting all the connections, the fittings, and how that all works. So that will be coming up next on this uh, water collection system series. This is LDS Prepper out.